Hey guys, and welcome back to Rage Gaming. For this video, I've got a very fast guide to the Shadow Realm Blessing mechanic. There are two sides to this, which you can find in any grace, the Scattered Tree Blessings and the Revered Spirit Ash Blessings. The Scattered Tree Blessings ultimately result in you dealing more damage and also taking less damage while in the Shadow Realm, where the Revered Spirit Ash Blessings, they do the same for your spirits. So your summon ashes deal more, take less, but also Torrent will survive more too. In the very first map tile, the first location we begin, you can get five levels of both blessings. And that's what this video is, the exact locations of how to achieve that for both. So let's get started with the Scatter Tree Blessings. So to open the game in the first area with five levels, make it all smoother, I think that's fine. We begin the game at the Grave Sight Plain. The fastest way to get your first view is actually not to go north as you might expect, but to go east to the Church of Consolation. When you step in here, you're going to find not one, but two fragments to get you started, which is really nice. After that, we can head north through the Scorch Ruins and bring ourselves to the first Mikula Cross. We'll find a couple of NPCs and another fragment to get going. At this point, you can head west and go through the passage that leads uphill. You will find the next cross that easy and another NPC will be found. Again, this cross, like most crosses, you'll find another fragment. Now, instead of progressing up into the actual Bellarat Keep, you're going to turn around and head south along the edge of the cliff here that, as you can see, will slowly lead up, revealing a plateau above the starting area. At the entrance, you'll find this grace, the Cliff Road Terminus, and by heading southwest, you will find our next fragment, which is just west of an area called the Prospect Town. Okay, with those fragments achieved, let's go back to the first cross again. This time, we're going to go northeast and cross over this massive Great Bridge. And on the other side, we're going to find this camp with a grace in the center of it called Castle Front. Just next to that grace, you'll also find a statue of Marika, which, yep, has the next fragment at it. Next, we're going to head into the keep and work our way through it. Roughly halfway through the keep, you're going to find another Mikula cross and therefore another fragment. Okay, we just got one more fragment to get. So from the castle front, we're going to head up this path leading higher and higher to the southeast. But almost as we continue up the hill, we're going to branch off just around this other side. Where we're going to find a hidden cross and another NPC and another fragment. With that, you'll have eight total fragments, which is the exact number that you're going to need to get to level five on your Scatter Tree Blessing. So that's the Scatter Tree Blessings. Let's now cover the Spirit Ash Blessing locations. From the starting point of the Gravesite Plains, the first grace once again, we're going to head just northeast, just east of the Scorch Ruins. On this cliff edge, you're going to find this first mysterious statue where you kind of find these ashes in general. So that's our first one. You can get the first upgrade like that. Next, we're going to head northwest to the first cross, which leads us a little bit north to the Great Bridge North Grace. Here we're in front of a town called the Abandoned Ailing Village and if you pass through this on the east side, just down on a little plateau, you will find the next Ash Blessing. With that, let's return again to the Free Path Cross and work our way west to the Bell Rat. Going up and opening the door, in the very first room that you enter, you'll see a very hard to miss statue with more ashes here. In this case, there should be two. The next one though is further into Bell Rat. As you progress through this area, you'll find yourself climbing higher and higher and higher. And just before you come to the stage front grace, you will find a tree and around the back, kind of looking back over the area you've just kind of climbed up, there'll be another statue, another ash to grab. Interestingly, while while you're up here right before the stage front and you've just picked up this ash blessing it's important to know that there's a bridge just to the east as you pass through here there's this specific enemy a strange guy that holds a pot over his head and upon killing him i actually got yeah one of the blessings so you want to make sure you kill him as well it's my understanding that there's multiple kinds of these pot wielding guys and potentially they could even drop scattered tree fragments so if you ever see a guy holding a pot over his head and casting spells and running away hunt him down and kill him you might just get something very valuable now let's return to the main gate cross which is just outside of bellarat and this time again we're going to follow this kind of cliff edge that leads up eventually leading to the cliff road terminus grace and just to the east you've got this kind of pond and right next to that we have another statue to grab another ash Finally, we have one more ash location in the first map fragment that I want to show you, and it's this one here. And it's deceptive, because for some reason there isn't an underground filter at this time. The reality of this grace here, Alec River Cave, is that it's underground. It's hard for me to show you that with the way that the map's currently working. Fortunately, obviously, I know the route. To get down there, what you actually want to do is come to the castle front grace and head along the road east. Right as you're about to continue uphill, you turn more east to look over at the cliff edge. You'll even see this guy just sort of standing there looking down to highlight, oh, there's something going on over here. What you'll find is a kind of a slow, awkward path 
down to the water below. Where, if you head southwest, you'll see a cave entrance behind one of those flowers. Pass through the cave and eventually you will come to the Elek River Cave Grace, which, obviously on your way, right before the Grace, you will find that last ash that we're looking for. With that total amount of your Spirit Ashes, you should be able to get to level 5 for your Revered Spirit Ash Blessing, no problem. But there you have it, that's my quick guide to the blessings. I hope this was useful. You can expect more guides of this nature on the channel over the coming weeks while we cover the DLC. For now though, I've been Hollow, you've been you. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos. Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes. Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice. To reiterate that it is nice to look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage is uh goodbye.